We wanted to do something different to a food bank. We wanted something which was healthy. We wanted something which empowers people, gives people choice and serves up quality food. It's very important there's alternative food banks in our community because it's a short-term solution, it's a quick fix and it doesn't address any particular issues. Our project offers a longer term solution. Food bank is something that can be used in emergency situations but it's like a plaster, it's not a way that things can go. What does the cafe mean to me? I think the cafe means so much. It means a Monday night where I'm with friends, where I know I can be myself, I'm accepted for who I am and the way I am, and my contribution is valued. What I like about this place is I don't feel there are any barriers to entry, that anybody who wants to have dinner can come in and have dinner. It's not about whether they can afford to have dinner or not. People pay what they want. It's a warm place to sit and eat together with other people from different nationalities and culture. We all learn from each other and I think this is something really great. The most thing I enjoy about the garden is probably the community feeling actually because I do a lot of gardening at home, but you do it on your own. Part of the joy of our community meal is that it's not just people who are food insecure who come, but it's people who are local families who want to mix with other folks. It's people who sit in their own. So therefore nobody knows who are the food insecure people within the, the, the room because it's just we're all in it together. Listen to people and find out what they want and work with them to make that happen and to make it, to make the community a better place to, to live in and to grow up in. So it's quite good that the young people's voices are getting heard and young people are enjoying getting their voices heard instead of getting told what to do by an adult. For us it is really important to involve people in, in the decision making and the project development, even the way we deliver sessions, so things like our cooking sessions, we're all based on what people want to do. before when young people would get their food parcels, there would be half of what they wouldn't even use. Whereas with the community larder, they can come and help themselves to what they want and what they like, so there isn't the same waste involved. So we're, we're still giving food support, but it's in a completely different way. It, it's a much more dignified way. People can pick what they want and, and how they want the, their food support. The idea really was to prevent people needing the emergency food provision. Uh, we make a, a halal chicken and non-halal and uh, vegetarian. They can choose whatever they like. That's why we made uh, more than six uh, dishes. We eat much fresher produce than the emergency food parcel. And also it means that it's not a one-off. The gate of the garden is open so that people can come in whenever they want, take something from the raised bed, take it home and cook it and use it. We can provide lots of additional support and advice for welfare rights information. We'll have legal advice in the centre. It's a whole community support issue. We wanted to bring people back. They know I'm here at certain times, so there's somebody that they, they know they can come and speak to. Um, I've got a big folder full of information. I've been around all the local organisations to find out what they provide, all the different um, money groups, things like that, shelter. I've shadowed some of them to find out what they all do so I can put everybody to the right place. Mm. Everyone who turns up wanting to help cook or do anything in the kitchen uh, is welcome and is somehow included in, in the big mob that happens in the kitchen. And that's really encouraging to me. I, that, appeals to my sense of social justice, that everyone can have an opportunity to support each other uh, regardless of where they come from or what, what they're able or not able to do. They get involved with the singing, they get involved with the cooking, they get involved in conversation. You know, and it's not just at one table, everybody goes around and mixes with everybody else. I used the service before, they helped me a lot to improve, to maybe get out what I was going through and it's a time to me to help other people and I feel very valued and I feel happy maybe to do that and to continue to do that.